Esta es... Puerto Rico, mi ciudad. Puerto Rico, mi ciudad. Oh, 2005. Quiere decir que Canadá se convierte en la Miss Universo 2005. Natalie Kilimuta, graduada en gerencia de computación y mercadeo. El verano es su estación favorita y vibra este estadio, señores. Claro que sí, Natalie Kilimuta. So we are from the Indonesian pageants, the first uh, community in Indonesia. So we are very glad that you are finally coming to Indonesia. I know, finally. <laughs> finally. Well, I've been to Indonesia several times on my own. I've come to Bali a few times and I have to say it's one of my favorite places in the world. In fact, I want to live there one day oh. with my family. Um, but I love Jakarta, I love Indonesia because the people are so wonderful. They've been really warm, welcoming, friendly, and just lovely people. With great food, I love the culture. It's so, for me, it's so exotic and so beautiful. The costumes and the beautiful statues. I love everything about Indonesia. I love Asian culture. I think it fits my personality very well because Asian culture is um, very polite, uh, it's very service minded, it's always um, um, kind of taking care of other people and putting other people first. So I like that because I'm a very giving person and I love it. I'm a very compassionate person. And I think living in Asia has made me more patient and even more compassionate than before, and more understanding of other people. So I really do love Asian culture. Thailand has made me a better person, I think. When I first came to Thailand, I was really impressed uh, with the way that they welcomed us and the organization of the pageant was so huge and grand. And Everywhere we went, people welcomed us so beautifully. Uh, at the time, I didn't think I was going to live there, but I really fell in love with the country because of all the beauty around us. And the experience was wonderful. We had so much fun uh, getting to know the other contestants. Um, I was friend, close friends with five other girls, the Russian-speaking girls. and. Um, a few other ones, and of course I met Atika, um, who is Indonesia in 2004, 2005, I think that's her title, right? Yes. Um, and she's so wonderful, I think she is one of my favorite Miss Indonesias, because she's got such a great personality. And last night when I was watching all the former Miss Indonesias come out on stage to do a little parade, she just was so beautiful and I remembered her. Um, how warm she is, she's so friendly. I just love her personality and she really just shines on stage. So unfortunately I didn't get a chance to see her this time because she was backstage, I was with the judges, but my husband Dean got a chance to meet her with Maya and they took a picture so I'm glad that she got to meet my family. Thank you. Voila, you are Miss Universe. <laughs> you guys predicted it, so congratulations on that. Did you predict any other winners? Uh, in, the few, like in the other years? Yes. Uh, the clear winners, uh, besides you, yeah. we predicted correctly Diana Mendoza. Uh, I do too. Yeah. I also predicted her. She was just a standout, like I said, yes. she's going to win for sure. Yes. Anyone else? Anyone else? Oksana. Oksana. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and for me also Paulina Vega. Paulina Vega. I knew that she was gonna win. I said for sure. Like she's gonna win, I know it, hundred percent done. <laughs> I thought it was a great show, it was a good production. Uh, we were there together with the family as well. Um, I liked it a lot, especially the woman empowerment angle because I can see that that's the trend nowadays and it's a great trend because I think women should be viewed as equals in our society. 
so I love that this universe is taking that angle because they want to show that women are strong, we're powerful, we can do everything um, that we want and um, that we can achieve any goal that we set for ourselves. So I really enjoyed that. Um, Boys to Men, wow, the performance was amazing. Are you a fan of Boys to Men? Yes. Yes, me too. <laughs>